Thank you. I did walk already. Walk. Mm, no. Wait, is it upside down? No, it's still wrong. Oh, it's still wrong. Oh. Put into this side into the recorder. Yeah. Okay, what do I press? Put. <gasps> did I do anything? Like, you know the show, um, Saved by the Bell? It looks like that a little bit. VCRs! Do you have one of these at home? Yeah. I think I do, somewhere. No. No! No, but I used to. I probably used to when I was probably three or younger. Do you know what it stands for? VCR stands for movie thing. Very cool. Radio. <laughs> Video controller remote? It stands for Video Cassette Recorder. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's cassette? Oh, I know what a cassette is. So have you seen that before? No. Video stores? I've seen better. I've seen some that are colored. You could record over it, which is really cool because you're watching the movie and you could trick somebody saying, hey, let's watch this movie. <laughs> what happened to the movie? I don't know, I just, I did something. So before there was a VCR, there was no way to watch movies at home. I go like this, boo! You'd have to wait for it to come back to movie theaters or it'd have to play on TV randomly. Wow, that's, um, that is definitely way different than the way it is today. What do you think about that? You've lived your whole life not having to worry about that, but think about it, a movie comes out and you love it and you may never see it again. I'd hate that because I'd wanna see, like, Shrek again. Another thing about VCRs is sometimes when you'd put the tape in, it wouldn't work in the VCR and you'd have to adjust it. It was called tracking. Now this VCR was a later VCR, so it did it automatically. But in the past, you'd have to go up to it and actually turn a knob to make sure you got it to work. I couldn't imagine getting off the couch. Man, technology. That would suck. I'd hate having to do that every single time. But you have to work with it. It's, it's old. <laughs> oh my God. I'm happy. I'm happy it was like that. I'm really happy. And what if you had a tape that had a bunch of TV episodes on it, and it was at the very beginning, but you wanted to watch episode three? How would you skip to episode three? You couldn't. You'd have to watch all of them. Uh, you'd have to fast forward it, I think? Well, actually, there's fast forward right here, so you'd have to be like boom, 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 and just keep on doing it. So basically, you'd be guessing. And you'd hit play hoping that it was at the right spot, and then when it wasn't, you had to keep trying and keep trying. That's almost mean. You have to like have to have like expert timing. You have to guess? That would take like hours for me. I would be able to, because I'm awesome. That's why I prefer to watch YouTube instead of TV. Another thing too is let's say you finish watching the movie and you want to watch it again. It doesn't just start over again. You have to rewind it all the way back to the beginning and wait to watch it again. Oh man. Lots and lots and lots of reminding. I don't want to be standing there wasting my time. Like, the popcorn's gonna get old and stale while I'm fast forwarding it back, like, rewinding it backwards. Is it possible to take it out, then put it back in? It'll still be in the same place until you rewind. You look annoyed by hearing this. I am annoyed by hearing this. Do you ever go to a video store today? No. Yep, Blockbuster closed, and because Netflix was taking over. GameStop, no one goes there anymore. <laughs> They're like, oh, we'll purchase it online. Do you want Call of Duty? Yeah, Daddy, I don't want to go to the store too far away. Can we just order it online? Sure, son, we can do that. We usually go to Target. Target has everything. Everything you've ever wanted. We just buy it, go home, put it into the thing like this, and then we watch the movie. 